What we have here is an Ethernet-based data acquisition module, a touchscreen PLC, and a PC running KingView control and monitoring software. We will quickly show you how to set this up. We will show you the hardware setup, how to set up the ET7026 data acquisition module, how to configure the touchpad PLC, and then how to set up KingView PC-based control and monitoring software. First, you take the Ethernet data acquisition module and you power it up like this. Then, you plug it in the NS205 PSC-24. When you use an Ethernet data acquisition module, you need to set its IP address. You can use a free software ICP DAS provides called Mini OS 7 Utility to easily set its IP address. Download the software and just install it on your computer. Then, run the Mini OS 7 Utility. Click this little black downward facing arrow and select Search. The utility will find the module. Select it and then click IP setting. Enter in the proper IP address for your network so you can pull it up in a web browser. Make sure the mask and gateway match your computer settings. Here's how to match your computer settings. Go to your start menu. Type CMD. This brings up a command prompt. Type IPCONFIG and hit enter. This pulls up your computer's IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. ET7026 needs to have the same subnet mask and gateway as you see here and a unique IP address on your network. It has to be different than your computer, which is shown here. It also has to be different than every other device on your network so that it'll come up in a web browser. Now let's click Set to set the IP address in the EEPROM. Now open your web browser. Type in the IP address you gave ET7026. Type in the username and password. The default username and password is capital A D M I N. This is the web HMI where you set your I.O. type. We're using an LED connected to an analog output zero of ET7026. So we're going to configure A00 to current output. Click the drop down window. Select the 0 to 20 milliamp range. Then click submit. Now the ET7026 is configured and we can attach the LED to the terminal block as you see here. Download the latest version of HMI Works Standard online. Install and run the software by double-clicking the file name. For Windows 7 systems, the file must be downloaded and run as administrator. Follow the on-screen instructions for installation. After installation, go to the Start menu, go to the ICP DAS folder, go to HMI Works Standard. Create a new project by selecting New. Select the version of the TPD you're using and name your project. Select your orientation and programming type. We will select ladder logic for this example. To set up the Modbus device, we will right click on the connection button and select new connection. We will select a name for this connection, Modbus TCP. We will input the IP address for the connection and the port. The default for Modbus is port 502. Click OK. Add input tags. Expand the tag tree. Hold the mouse over a device right click and select new device. For series select ET7000. Select the connection Modbus TCP. Select a name for the device ET7026. Now click search and select ET7026. Click OK. Now it's time to connect the touchpad. Set the rotary switch on the back of the touchpad to zero. Connect the touchpad to your power over ethernet switch. Now we will make a simple project to show how this works. We will show you how to control and display the value of a digital output and an analog input. First, select the object that you want to place on the screen from the library. For this example, we will use this light. With the light highlighted in the library, select the tag you want to use and drag it onto the workspace. We will do the same for a switch to control the light. Next, we will use the label widget to show the status of an analog output 
and we will use the slider to manipulate the output. We can adjust the properties in the inspector. Let's set the tag for AO. This is also where you change the properties of the object. Let's change the direction of the slider and the color of the slider. Now we have completed our project. It's time to download it to the touchpad and see the results. From the file menu, select Run and then Setup Device. Click on Search Touchpad. Once it's found, select it, then press OK. Here we set the touchpad's IP address and the download IP address. We will set them both the same for this example. Click OK to approve. From the file menu, select Run, and then run from the drop-down menu. This is the final step to downloading your project. Make sure the download completes. Now we're going to show you how to set up KingView. Install KingView. Follow the installation steps to set up the main program. Follow the steps to install the drivers and the key drivers for licensing. Then restart your PC. After you install KingView, you'll find it in the Start menu on your system. Create a new project by clicking the New button on the toolbar. And then follow the steps to configure a new project. Select a folder and then click Next. And then input a valid project name, such as Demo with Touchpad ICP DAS, and click Finish. At the top right of your screen, click Make on the toolbar to enter the development system. For this project, we need to connect with ET7026. We will create an IO tag so we can get data from the module. Click Tag Name Dictionary. Double click New. We're going to make Tag Name Water Level. Tag Type IO Analog. Set max value of 100, max original 100. Select device ET7026 and register 300001, data type U short, and read write for RW. Since we want to interface with the touchpad PLC, we're going to create another device to communicate with over Modbus TCP IP. We will create some other tags DI1, D01, AI1, and AO2, which are all mapped with register addresses with the touchpad Modbus S. Select Bitmap from the toolbox and put a graphics. We're going to put some buttons on the screen so we can switch screens. We're going to use scripts Show Picture Home. Show picture frame 1, show picture frame 2, show picture frame 3, and show picture frame 4. We have to be sure the picture name is consistent with the pictures that we will create later. Now we will make four screens of the same size as the first one, and we are going to name them frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, and frame 4. We will copy the touchpad image and the buttons with script for each screen. For frame 3, we will copy touchpad from frame 1 and put data from ET7026. We'll put a slider from the graphics library by clicking the menu Wizards, Open Wizards. We will select the slider category, then we'll double click the first slider and we'll put it into the proper position on the screen. Then we will double click it and we'll configure it. Then we'll put a text graphic water level and a pound sign. And we'll double click the pound sign to add analog display using the tag backslash backslash local backslash water level. And we'll click OK to finish the settings. We're going back to the wizards again and we're going to pick a tank from reactor. Then we're going to put it on the screen. Then we'll double click it to connect it with the tag water level. We'll click OK to finish the settings and we'll save all the pictures. Now we'll create another screen, frame 4, and we'll copy the touchpad from frame 1 and we'll put a text King View and touchpad. Then we'll put some graphics through the same way we did frame 3 using tags D01, DI1, A01, and AI1. We save all the pictures. Now we go to King View Touch Explorer and we set a start page by clicking System Configuration, Set Touch View, Set Home on the main page of Main Picture Setting. Then we click OK. 
and then we switch to touch view. We can change the pictures by clicking the buttons, and we can change the values by dragging the slider on the tank adjustment button.